Hey, welcome or welcome back to Strategically Styled. My name is Lisa. I'm a woman over 50 and this channel is dedicated to helping you achieve your style goals. And to that end, today I'm going to be sharing with you some ideas for styling button up shirts with shorts. And if you think that sounds unimaginative and boring, think again, you need to stay tuned. So we're going to get to that in just a minute, but I will ask like I do, if at any point in any time you find yourself liking this video, I really appreciate it if you click the thumbs up and like the video. Also consider clicking the subscribe button and joining our community and click the notification bell so you will be notified when new content is uploaded. I will also say about the comments, thank you so much. Those of you who take time to comment, say hello, um, share what you like about the outfits. It really is encouraging. And um, it's kind of one of the reasons I'm on YouTube is just to be a part of a community of people with shared interest. So shout out to the commenters and thank you so much. So first of all, let me just by way of clarification, talk about button up versus button down shirts. Simply put a button down shirt is kind of what I'm wearing now in that the collar is buttoned down to the shirt. And if the collar does not button down, but it has the buttons, it's a button up shirt. In any case, I'm just going to use the term button up, whether it's buttoning up or down, there's buttons. Okay. Um, so when it comes to wearing shorts, here's the thing. I personally think that age is irrelevant. The thing that is relevant that matters is that you understand your body, your standards of modesty, and that you are clear on what you want to emphasize or de-emphasize as the case may be. So there are women well over the age of 50 and if you look at their legs they are probably comparable to women in who are 19 or 20. and conversely there are younger women but if you looked at their legs they are more comparable to someone over 50. so that's really not even a factor as to how old you are um but there is a bit of ageism, I think, directed at women over 50 in general, in particular when it comes to clothes that reveal anything, your arms, your legs, your whatever. Okay, so the advice that I was given in my 30s was that it really doesn't matter what your age is as it pertains to wearing short skirts or shorts or shorts. Here's this, the, the uh, litmus test. If your thighs look like chitlins oozing on down your legs, then maybe don't wear no short skirt or shorts. But if they don't and you want to go on and wear it. So that was advice that really did stick to my brain. And I thought, okay, well, this is the standard. This is how we know what to wear and what not to wear. But now as a person in her 50s, I would say that there is a mentality in our society that says that if your body does not look young or toned, that you should hide it, that somehow you are ineligible from being fashionable. And um, I just don't think that that's right either. I think that said, choosing what you wear is about making decisions, what you want to emphasize and what you want to de-emphasize. As time goes on, there are parts of your body that are visibly aging and you need to make a decision if that is what you want to draw the focus on, what you want to emphasize, or if you want to de-emphasize that. So really, it's not about your age. It's about you deciding how you want to present your body when you get dressed. 
If you struggle putting outfits together for whatever reason, a good practice might be to start giving yourself some kind of parameters or limitations and it just helps you to make decisions so you don't have decision overwhelm. So in this case, button up shirts and shorts. So in my case, I have an abundance of button up shirts, but I have a limited number of shorts. I mean, I have old grungy shorts that I wear for doing things outside or whatever. But for my for real, for real shorts, I have four to five pairs and that's it. And they also are all solid color neutrals, which also means they go with essentially all of my button up shirts. So that's one decision with the shorts I really don't have to make, but with the shirts, I do have a lot of options so my outfits can still be very creative and visually interesting. So ultimately it will be the choice of the shirt and the accessories that are really going to define the outfit. So I prefer a shoe with a manageable heel, but a heel nonetheless, even when I'm wearing shorts. So throughout these looks, you will see me interchanging with shoes that work for me as you should find shoes that work for you. So here is my OOTD. The shorts are old JCPenney, but the shirt, blazer, and bag are thrifted. And these are some old flats. And I also thrifted my sunglasses. The earrings are very old, light in the box. The necklace is from an antique store, and that is the OOTD. If you want to avoid belts, and it's not too hot, you might try putting on a close-fitting tank top underneath and just wearing the shirt open. My tank top is from Walmart and because it's close-fitting and it has a little stretch to it, I can adjust it where I want it at my waistline. These white shorts are from JCPenney. The shoes are old JCPenney and here's with the front tie on a different thing and because this waistband is higher it doesn't give me the midriff that the other shorts did and that orange bag I got from an antique store it's my new bag crush here I have just one button buttoned and it gives you a glimpse of the tank top but it's a little looser and those are some of the ways I might style this short sleeve thrifted shirt which I thrifted for 25 cents from the place so I'm going to add some accessories to a very basic pair of Bermuda shorts and a button-up shirt and some slides. So if these shorts have a belt loop, I would add a belt and a pair of sunglasses if I was going to be outdoors and a pair of earrings. I am also going to add a bag. Mine is a coach bag that I got from eBay some time ago and it just makes it more pulled together but wait there's more a structured shoe in my case my slingbacks but they have a nice blocky heel so they're very comfortable and if I was going someplace with air conditioning I would definitely bring a blazer and it just makes it look a little more elegant and pulled together so your button-up does not have to be a solid color here I will show you this lands in men's shirt with vertical stripes it is extremely oversized and it may seem counterintuitive in summer months to be wearing long sleeve shirts but I like the balance of the shorts and then the more fabric on top but also the only places where this shirt comes in contact with my body is at my shoulders it kind of hangs because it's oversized it doesn't really even touch my neck so only at my shoulders and at the waist where I have it tucked in when I tuck it in, but also if I just wore it loose fitting, it would, wouldn't would even touch at the waist. And if you observe people who live in places where it's really, really hot, then you notice that a lot of times they are wearing um, clothes that are loose fitting out of breathable fabrics like this cotton shirt but they cover their skin and it gives them some sun protection and the, allows the air to circulate so it can still be very cool and comfortable but you do you
Okay, so I'm cheating a little bit because this is a dress and not a shirt, but it is button-up. And because the fabric is thin, it is very flexible. I got this thrifted from the place, and here it is with the front tie. And here I'm adding a blazer, and this bag is also thrifted. Those sneakers are old JCPenney, and I did switch. I had on some kids earlier, and that is basically the look. Going monochromatic is also very chic. Here I have a thrifted belt and bag and shoes. And I'm going obviously with all white, but it could be all navy, all black. Here's a close-up of the belt, which has some sequins and beadwork on it. So I personally think a button-up shirt is comfortable and can make even a basic pair of shorts look very polished and elegant. However, outfit formulas or uniforms, whatever you want to call it, they do need to be personalized to you. So maybe you hate buttons, for example. So recently I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and as of today, I can still button my shirts, but the time may come where that is no longer the case. And so my outfit formula would change instead of having an abundance of shirts with buttons, I might invest in some high quality t-shirts for the summer months and still style it in all of the same ways that I did with my button-up shirt. Um, just as a fun fact, I knew someone who modeled and one of the hacks that she shared with me was she used to pre-button her button-up shirts and just leave the top couple unbuttoned and she used to use them as pullovers because it just made getting dressed faster and easier. So just putting it out there govern yourselves accordingly. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Comment down below, say hello, or share any of the looks that you prefer or that you like the best. And until we meet again, I hope your day is blessed and stylish.